What do you hope to achieve with this rather <clears throat> unconventional documentary? We thought we'd get rich. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's not going to happen. I like her right away. Okay. Yeah. That is hilarious. That was yeah. very, that's <laughs> well, gold. That was gold. <laughs> <laughs> The, I thought we could transcend the kind of typical thing that we've learned to like be so familiar with after like behind the music or a million other kind of music based documentaries. We wanted to make a movie about a life and heart and humor. And the opportunity was there because he's lived a big life. Mm -hmm. There's barely enough life for us to cover in four hours. Um, but there's a lot of life there and, and, and a lot of uh, soul. And so the idea of putting that uh, on film, AJ and Cross were already on that path. Yeah. So that's what we did. David, you have done a lot of um, sort of introspective examination throughout your life with your lyrics. And of course, your, well, I have your book, Long Time Gone. And um, what is it like to go back and examine your life? It gets easier as you get older, if you're honest. Uh, it is not easy. It's never been easy, and it's never going to be easy, not if you do it well. Uh, what it's like is, is like being naked in public, uh, and that's uncomfortable, you know, uh, unless you look like you, and then you could probably pull it off. But <laughs> me, it's difficult. Now, yeah. but why are you drawn to, to that? Some people I'm drawn to it because honesty appeals to me, and I'm drawn to it because, look, you know how they make documentaries. Normally, they're shine jobs. Normally, they're about as deep as a birdbath. If you make a documentary about somebody, let's say it's about you, I want to know what matters to you. I want to know who you love. I want to know what you're afraid of. I want to know the inside of your head. That's what I want to know about. Not, you know, where you know, that time you went to Paris. I, I want to know what matters to you. Okay, so that's what the level we were trying to approach it on. And, and I, I don't think any other level is worthwhile, and I think it has set us apart from all the other documentaries about musicians because they are all shine jobs, every single one. They don't tell you the truth. Um, now, a lot of producers come on board later after the fact and put their name on it, but you and David obviously have a strong history together. What was your contribution to this film? Well, I just love interviewing him. And I also love the music. So if we could bring those two together so that the film would give you the feeling of his best music and, and it would feel like a David Crosby song, but also would be a little deeper than you even expected. Like when, when you see the movie in the theater, it's a wonderful thing to see that people kind of are used to a story, you know, okay, here's the arc of an artistic career and then wait a minute, this is different. This is, yeah. I'm now in a bath. Yeah of honesty and it's getting hotter. <laughs> What's going to happen? Yeah, there are and, some uncomfortable uh, and moments. I love that, that we do that, you know? Yeah. So, I don't know, I just, I love music and I love marrying uh, film and, and music and these guys are, you know, just same as me. Let's go there. I mean, it's certainly very difficult and there are some unexpected snafus along the way. Mm -hmm. What did you learn when you made this documentary, Remember My Name? Well, he's lived such an epic, extraordinary life, and he's, there's so many chapters and things that we uh, couldn't include, but when you start making those, those, uh, those cuts, when you're telling such a great thoroughbred story, I learned so much about just storytelling and the fact that he, what, what is the truth? And we, I'm happy to, that we made a portrait of an, of an artist, a portrait of a man that transcends into ideas. Friendship, harmony, hope, 